everybody welcome to this random youtube video that we are making today and we're just going to demonstrate how to wrap your hands and your wrists with some classic hand wraps from everlast i believe these were 12.99 and we got the 120 inches this is my father tom's coin he will be demonstrating how should i put my hand that way yeah so you've got a thumb hole a loop here and we have the stitched side facing the palm. The ugly side. <laughs> Which will hopefully leave us with the proper Velcro lineup. Yeah. Go ahead and talk how you... Okay, so we will try to get those wrists. Not too tight. I won't we'll cut out the blood. Keep... But tight enough to give you a little support. And also so the wraps don't like start unraveling. And we gotta go around the thumb. That's probably the hardest of the job. Keep them kind of keep it, yeah. Keep and, your palm down. And your spring is spread. Finger spread. Otherwise, you wrap it too tight. And go around the top of the thumb, then around the bottom of the thumb. With all those twists and turns, you really got to hope, oh man, I hope that Velcro is going to be on the outside when we get done. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't work out that way. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, you can only go around the thumb once, twice, you know, once over it, once under it. I think we might go through it one more time, just to keep the wrap up here from unraveling. Get back up on top there, bring it back down to the wrist. Make sure we got the wrist some support there, but the thumb is not going to pop out. For the moment of truth, ever last showing, that should be a good sign that we got it right again. And then they sometimes you know, like to do this thing to make sure you kind of like packing it in, getting it ready for it. You usually have tape underneath there, so. Nothing. And that's what I think they really do that for us. The tape underneath, I don't know. Which we don't have today, but. It would have been a little overkill. Yeah. We're not trying to overkill. We'll go ahead and demonstrate again through the left hand. Okay. I have my palms down. Well, I guess I should put the thumb hole first, huh? Yeah. Again, the thumb is looping with the stitching facing the palm. So hopefully we will end up with the Velcro face up and the Everlast logo facing up. So palms Show Showcasing. Showcasing. Make sure it's kind of laying as flat as you can get it to lay. And there's gonna be, when you go around the thumb, it's gonna bunch it up here and there, but. So it looks yeah, like three not, loops around the wrist. Not too tight around the wrist at first. Just enough to give it some support. Not to cut out the blood. You wrap over the thumb. As you start getting close to that area, you just go up ahead and go for it. You try to not make it too bunched. Lay flat as you can. All right, I'm just gonna, gonna keep your hand so you're not tiring yourself out. So now you just went over and around. The yeah, you over once. Under once and then over again, and now you're on the outside of the wrist. Yeah. I like just a little bit. I 
because the tape was only uh, that, like 120. I mean, uh, 100 inches long, it would be still enough. It's almost overkill having this much tape, especially on the hands that aren't exactly uh, heavyweights. Typically, just one style of wrapping the hand, or do you have? There's probably a couple different ways of doing it. Everyone probably does it a little different, you know. I think the one we just did is pretty standard, you know. on your wrist, really. All right. <laughs> there you have it. Simple, classic. Man, this shirt's killing me.